This is a video to walk you through notch calibration on the FobGC software version 0.20. This video assumes you've already watched Frost's video on calibration without notches, so watch that one first. Another difference is that I'll be using Uncle Punch 3.0 instead of Smash Scope to show you the stick coordinates. This is how I set it up. Now for calibration. First we begin by taking the controller out of safe mode using AXY and then pressing start. Next I'll use AXY L to begin calibration of the left stick. First I'll go through the cardinals and the 45 degree diagonal notches by pressing L or R to advance the calibration. Be careful when doing the diagonal notches that you don't accidentally fall into one of your modder added notches and vice versa. I already lost several takes of this video to this problem. Now we come to the modder added notches. Make sure you slide the stick into the notches in the direction you would during gameplay to get the best reading. So this one I slide into it from above. Once we've measured all the notches, we enter the notch adjustment phase. The upper two diagonals are okay to leave at 45 degrees, but the lower two can be adjusted for shield drops in vanilla melee by raising their Y value to 0.675. You tweak the values using X and Y and reset back the default with B. Once you've adjusted the 45 degree diagonals, all the modder added notches that you've measured can be adjusted. You proceed the same way as for the 45 degree notches. So in this case, the C stick coordinates tell you what the actual measured position of the notch was and the left stick coordinates given by Smash Scope or Uncle Punch tell you where the output is for the current stick position. So I put the stick into the notch and 3125 is where I want it. Um, you can go closer to the uh, dead zone if you want. So I can adjust this to be one unit away from the dead zone, which is fine on the FOB GCC because it's adjustable. You press B to reset. And Depending on how far away the initial notch is from your target value, you might not be able to adjust it to quite where you want. For example, this notch is 0.45-ish, and so I can't get it all the way there. This is a limitation we on the FobGCC team have placed in order to limit distortion of the coordinate grid. So this one gets to 3125, just barely, but it can't get all the way to 0.3. This one's the opposite problem. This notch was inside the dead zone, but we can bring it out using the notch adjustment. Okay. 
Once all the notches have been adjusted, the C-stick returns to reflecting the actual C-stick position, and calibration is done. Now I'll show you what happens if you only skip some notches. So I'll begin calibration again. And let's do cardinals. The diagonals. I'm going to do that one again. Now I'll do this as if we only have wave dash notches. So I will skip these upper notches. And then I will measure this notch. Skip this, skip this, and measure this wave dash notch. So now, after we do the cardinals, uh, not the cardinals, the 45 degree as usual, it skips right to the measured notches. And then you can adjust those directly. and now the calibration is done. Additionally, if you want to tweak the notches without going through the measurement step, you simply begin calibrating, and then at any point during the measurement step, you press start, and then it skips to the notch adjustment phase. It will use all the measurements from your last completed calibration. So in this case, it only has the wave dash notches out of the user added notches. And that's it for FOB GCC calibration.